Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new series on a game that I am excited to play, Old World, which just released on Steam. If you don't know anything about this game, it is the brand new 4X game. It came out a few months ago, well, almost a year ago on the Epic Store, but it just got released fully on Steam. It is created by some of the creators for Civilization 4, so it has a good 4X pedigree. So it is, in my opinion, from the few games that I've played, and I've not played too much because I want to learn on camera here, it seems like it is the next evolution of the genre. It is a mixture. It feels very Civ 4. It is a mixture of a city builder and Crusader Kings at the same time. So it feels like the step that humankind should have been, but wasn't. Uh, I really enjoy what I've played of this game so far. And so we're going to play a game where I'm just trying to learn and move forward and move up on here and we're going to start here as babylon nebuchadnezzar of babylonia and looking here we get a uh, special text that we start with some families that we can choose from which will come into play later and unique stuff that we can build and this tells us what type of person our guy nebuchadnezzar is going to be he is a scholar, uh, which makes him uh, extra good at science. Uh, plus two per science per turn per archive. And I can do various things. I can redraw text with him. It, all these things matter later. Uh, so we're just going to set up a game here. On a random map, uh, we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with the strong because this seems like the first i'm a little bit behind the ai but it's the first step before it starts to get really hard from what i see here so we'll start up there map script seaside uh we'll go with seaside that seems fine i have no idea so we'll go with seaside Map size medium, default settings. We'll just go all default here, except we're running on the strong instead of the just. Let's get this started. Here we are at the start of the game. We can see the area that we've spawned into here. Looks like we're fairly surrounded by mountains. Uh, we might be over on the western side of the map. Looks like... Probably southern, maybe, side of the map. Uh, so, we're here. And we can set uh, our map markers to show any resources around us. We've got camels, sorghum, uh, wild game, salt, a bunch of ore, and barley. And, ooh, some ruins here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, if you see here, we have these urban tiles. Unlike Civilization, these urban tiles are the only place that we are able to build a city. And I'm not super good at choosing city locations yet, but I'm thinking we're going to go here to this location, right here, to settle our city. That gives us plenty of urban tiles to work off of. It seems like a decent location. And as far as like starting starting yields, we would have okay stuff around us. We are Nebuchadnezzar the founder here. We are we have three wisdom, which is pretty good. We have a wife who is a diplomat. She has zero wisdom, but three charisma, so she's super good at getting this civic stuff here to help us pass laws. I'm really good at getting this science to help us found technologies. We have a daughter who is also a schemer. She or She's a schemer. She's really wise. And we have a baby son who has nothing right now. 
this is our heir. We, if we die, we're going to play her next. And this is next in line. So what do we do? We have this pop-up. We are Nebuchadnezzar, the wisest king of Babylon. The myths of your people claim that you descend from a distant line of kings, but your people are broken and battered from disasters. Finally, taking your birthright, it falls on you to lead the people of Babylonia into the old world to forge a nation of knowledge and glory, one that will be remembered through the ages. The existing civilizations of this world do not yet know the splendor and wisdom of Babylonia, but they will learn. Select your settler and found your capital city. You will also decide which family manages your first city, gaining their advantages immediately. So, if we go into our settler, you can see that we can move here, and it changes the shape. You know what? It's actually better to stay here, because I'm losing the camels immediately. You can see the shape that our city might take. Aha! Ah, no! It's actually better to go here, because I'll get the barley. So we can move here, and that took one of these orders, which is how many actions we can take every game, or every turn. Also, another thing that I love about this game is we have... Boop, an undo button if we don't like what we just did we undo one order so I want to go here and I'm going to settle we have an option of four different families founding families for our civilization here we have hunters which are all about like military and uh like ranged units and camp food so like this would be camp food this is camp food here we have the artisans which are all about culture and mines and lumber mills which we would have a lot of lumber mills in this city not a lot of mines traders are all about gold This is not a super good trader city, I think. As far as I understand, it's not a super good trader city. And we have the uh, sages, which are all about uh, laws and science. I don't really have good stuff for them in this city. But we get to choose three of these overall throughout the game. So, these guys require specialists, and I do have quite a bit, but I think, actually, and I wasn't expecting this, I think we might go into the hunters here, because we just have camp and camp, which is a pretty good location here. We do have mines for the, art for the artisans. We have a mine here and a mine here. But we got a lot of flat land which is going to be farmed probably and we got some lumber mills oh we do have a lot of lumber mills let's go with the artisans that's who we're choosing oh i need to turn off tutorials thank you we also now get to choose our first research and research in this game is a lot different from other games you have a uh oh we have a research deck and we draw three cards a turn and we choose one of them and then the other cards get discarded until the whole deck gets discarded and they come back again so if i go for iron working which is what is recommended here i get a warrior which is really important or i could go divination and get an early shrine which could like accelerate me very early quarries here are also very important but warriors, it feels like warriors are pretty important to get uh, safety. But you know what? I'm going to go stone cutting because I know how important stone can be. And I do have this mine, this mine right beside me and other things. So we're going to go 
You know what? Let's let's look. This is this requires a mine, which is not a quarry. I can get some quarries here, which would be really good. I want this city site because of this gold. So before I do, thank you. Before I s choose that research, I am sending my scout out here to see and think about this city location. And I can harvest this gold. But by doing that, I have left my worker with nothing he can do because I'm out of orders. So we can just send our worker there and he can't even do this because I don't have enough orders for him to do it. I have another worker right here, which we will probably send up here next turn. And we have a slinger. So we don't need ironworking right now. Because we have a slinger, we can build slingers, we don't need to defend ourselves. We do kind of want some of these things. So I'm not going to build an Odeon, I'm not going to build a pasture, but I do have a lot of mountains. So we could get a really good shrine for culture in this city and start pumping culture out of this city like crazy. So, in fact, I think we're going to go for divination and plan on building a, a shrine, maybe right here, if I can get my culture there. It can't do anything because it has no orders. I do need to assign a governor to my capital city. So governors make your city better. If I want civics, which helps me pass laws... I would use my wife, but right now I don't care about that. I want more citizens to make my city grow, and I want more science and more gold. So I would like to be the governor here, but I don't have enough orders. That's right. So everything runs off of these orders. You know what? Can I... How far back can I undo? Yes. See, this is why I love this undo button. It is so supremely busted. <laughs> it is so, so, so broken. So I know it's over here now. I don't really need to go look over there. We will send him there to build a farm. We will send this guy up into this shrine. Scavenging through the ruins, we find a significant amount of stone, iron, and wood. However, local raiders could reach the ruins by nightfall. We can't fight them, but we can carry some of the loot back home. Stone, iron, or wood. We don't want a military, so I think I'm going to go with stone, because I'm, I'm going to have a hard time getting quarries for a while. This guy is going to hang out and just do nothing for a bit. We want to go in here choose our character as the governor choose divination wrong button and get our builder moving in this direction and end the year our daughter uh princess kashaya has grown up really quickly and i can educate her now so she already is a schemer oh another thing i like is you can hold shift and stack these Stack these tooltips together. So she is already a schemer. Which means... Excuse me. Game. Let me see. I'm still learning. She's going to be a really good spy master eventually. The smarter that she gets, the better she's going to be. So I kind of want to keep her wisdom growing. And I think we study philosophy and kind of hope that we get like a scholar or tactician out of her. So she's going to be doing that. 
my capital is working on a settler. So I want to send this slinger. Thank you, game. I want to send this slinger out here to claim this city site over here. We can only build cities in these little urban areas. And I want to continue exploring. We found some mountains, gained some legitimacy and fame. Legitimacy is like a benefit to our character. A temple stands atop the crest of the highest hill. Its terrace decorated with bright metal and ceramic. Local legends mark this site as where heaven and earth meet, where all life began. Of course, the only way to see its wonders is to inhale some of the mind-altering plants along the hillside in an ancient ceremony. A soldier brings you a bowl. Do I want to become exotic, which is plus two charisma, more civics, or do I want to become educated oh educated is good i want no part in such rituals so i am super educated now my scout is tired he can't do anything i have three of three things left let's pop a mine here one order left nothing i can do and this order is going to roll over into some gold for me Thank you. If you shift and click, you can lock the tooltips. So that's a very useful feature, the nesting tooltips. It did roll over into some gold for me. It was one gold, I'm pretty sure. And now I'm up to nine orders this turn. And we just keep exploring with our scout. I want to harvest this and get some food out of it because I'm losing food at four a turn which is pretty significant, actually. I want to end my turn on this hill. Oh, I have contacted Persia. Whoa, Persia is close, so that's an issue. I thought we were... Persia's pretty close, and Persia can be aggressive. So I want to be careful and definitely want to be expanding in this direction over here. So I've claimed this city site for me. I've got one more uh, movement this turn, but I can't use it with anybody. So end of the year and move on to the next turn. I love this event system. It and Well, the tutorial system and the event system, it really, like explains the game very well helps you understand what's going on very easily so rural yields are these food iron and stone and wood and they come from improvements like lumber mills mines and quarries i can spend money to buy all of these things from the global market food comes from farms and they do better on rivers and food is needed to make my population grow and to build settlers you pay food directly for settlers iron comes from mines and you use those to build military and stone comes from quarries and you use that to build like buildings and stuff once you get lumber mills you use it to build uh various things uh you can chop down trees before lumber mills but you need it for like archers and ships and stuff so things are cool event system in her philosophical studies, Kashaya, my daughter, has been working under a tutor who is applying the Babylonian study of astronomy to philosophy, developing a theory about the ideal nature of the early universe. The applications of this could completely shift the understanding of the patterns of the celestial bodies, although some are resistant to the changes. Do I get a new court scholar? Do I encourage Kasha's study? Ooh. Do I use him to make her better for later, or do I use him now to make me better right now? And I think I've got no real use, I think, for the court scholar currently. So we're going to use him to make her better. And she is going to be such a smart person. She's at plus six scholarship wisdom now. She's already smarter than me. 
which is pretty useful. We're going to use our builder to move all the way down there to start on that camp. Get the slinger in that city site. One more turn on the settler. And I want to kind of explore around Persia's borders a little bit to see what they've got over here. There's another city over here. So I'm going to be settling in this direction, mostly. Slinger, you just hang out. I can use my military points to promote the Slinger, but I want to keep military points because I need them to build uh, military units. And end my year. We got our next set of research options here. We have stone cutting for the quarry, which we do need. I do need stone. We have military drill for military units, which I do need. We can get a better government, which I don't have enough civics for, so we're definitely not going for aristocracy. Metaphysics allows me to do a bunch of things based on science. Uh and can do state religion stuff in an archive, which gives me plus one science a year. But I think we're going to go with stone cutting. We can get it done really quickly. And it's going to be useful for us. Get our settler moving out here. I want to explore this area a little more thorough. Oh, don't want to do that. He's out of movement. I want to explore that area a little bit more thoroughly. In the ruins, we observe a ritual performance centering on the old city's patron god. He tricks minor deities into letting him eat them, but in the end they cut open his belly and kill him. What should we take away from this? Expand our cities, but beware of gluttony. So I get a free technology. Hold such performances ourselves. A uh, culture technology learn from his cunning i become a deal maker i think we are going to get drama for free and what's really cool is drama starts the background music of the game i can also look i met persia right Ambassador. I can't have an ambassador yet. Nations. King Cyrus, can I do any... Any actions with you? I don't have enough gold. I would like to make Cyrus like me. Right now he is upset with me. Uh, minus 80, which is really bad. Uh, so I would like to eventually try to get him to like me a little bit more. He probably doesn't like that I'm so close to him. I don't like that he's so close to me. So we're pretty much even there. What am I going to build in my city here? Well, I have two workers. I'm not really looking for that. I probably should be working on... Military units, so we're gonna go for a slinger to start keeping ourselves protected I can also put a city here, but I don't think a city there is like worth it for us I could put a city down here and it might be more worth it because it'll pick up some of these things But I'd rather see if there's better city locations overall Oh Hostile neighbors as our units approach the Egyptian border they are met by armed soldiers. These men bring an aggressive message. All nations willing to treat with Egypt must pay tribute. Do I pay all of my gold, a large portion of my iron, a lot of my food, or have a negative 40 modifier, which will probably cause them to murder me in the future? Egypt... Let's lower that. Egypt was down here, so they're... Ah, they're over here. I think we're going to pay our tribute in food. And live with that. Oh, study of the stars. 
Astronomy has been practiced in Babylonia since the days of your ancestors. Princess Kashaya, my daughter, has been studying the stars and comes to you in excitement, claiming to have predicted a rare eclipse of the sun. This doesn't align with the existing calendars, and once your scholars check, they find an error in the current calendar system. It would take longer due to her inexperience, but allowing Kashaya to oversee the reforms would be a good chance for her to take responsibility. That would give me a hundred civics, and she would love me. Let the scholars, but she would disappoint. She would be disappointed. Oh, this is just way better. So yeah, we'll take that. So my daughter likes me, and we get a bunch of bonuses out of it. So if I go here, I get the gold. I get the gold. I get the gold in the game. Before I do that, is there any information that I would like to see here? Da, 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 da. I think... Maybe this is just a better... situation overall here so we're gonna move here and so we have gold game horses what do we already have we have the artisans here we have a bunch of camps we have well we have one camp the traders get bonuses towards gold which is pretty good uh minus 10 years for 20 years blah 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 unlocks caravans i think we're gonna go for the traders here for the bonus to the gold Our new Kurt Morton Sakiti has joined the court. Her keen attention to economic affairs will help us prosper. Uh, this is just a tutorial for what cities make. Okay, now that we're here, I want to build my camp, which gives me extra orders a turn. That mine is finished. I would love to build what is it this one over here not here but on the next one i need my culture to grow here because that would be a killer 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 tile so do i build it now and get the bonuses now or do i wait to grow Let's go over here and do this mine while we think, and we might squeeze out over here. Our culture is fairly strong, actually. And if I get... no. You get a specialist here, no, it won't work either. I'll have to think about that one. And as far as what this city builds... Ugh, that's sort of an ugly tile set right there. This city needs to build a worker. Because I want to start working that gold. Uh, can I grab you? These ruins are overshadowed by an enormous statue of a figure in a bold stance, legs astride what remains of the city gates. While it is still sturdy, time has eroded the features beyond any recognition. I could have it repaired to look like me, or I could steal the stone. Give me that legitimacy. So legitimacy, uh, gives me higher opinions with people and it gives me more orders so i will take the legitimacy i will take it take it take it take it i don't really want to move him i can't i want to start moving this uh scout around so here's our first ambition ambitions are goals that your character wants to complete before they die and it gives you victory points that allows you to win so you need to reach 60 victory points to win the game and you do that from having these various things here so i want to control four cities i already controlled two 
Controlling four within my next life within my lifetime might be pretty easy to do. It might be really difficult depending on who is around us. But here is our next city site, actually, so not that difficult. We do want to keep building up a military. The reason this is taking so long is because I don't have a lot of this being built up right now. Uh, it, we use this, I think, to build... If we go into the city... Yeah, I'm getting 10 a turn, and it takes 60. Where am I getting this 10 a turn? How can I check this? 8 base plus 2 for the mine, so I need to build more mines if I want to grow. But I don't have any hills, <clears throat> so this is not a very good mine city overall. Uh, my next unit, you're still two years, you're still two years, you can't move. You can move one, but I don't really want to move you. But we'll see what the rest of this tile looks like and end our year here. What's gonna, what ambition, what pop-up is gonna happen next? There's some barbarians in front of us. Walls are going to be pretty big for us, I think, but warriors also will keep us alive. Walls help us defend our cities. We'll go for warriors and hope we can get walls to spawn back up again. Get away from those barbarians. I don't want to deal with them. Pop up on the hill. Hey, we discovered something. We get some more legitimacy. And I will steal some gold from those elephants. One year on you, one year on you, five years, three years, and we're just cruising. As soon as this is done, I think we go Settler as fast as possible to get over here. Uh, that'll be three out of my four. Oh, pop up. Oh, the music. Sorry. Oh, sometimes the music in this game is so loud. <clears throat> Kashaya comes to you after studying the text of the Curse of a God, a fictional account of the fall of Acadia and the death of the king. It is normal for students to transcribe the story onto clay, stele, as writing practice, but the work has also sparked a philosophical struggle within Kashaya. She asks if the hubris of a queen will really lead to such destruction. As a leader, is it not right to take pride in your nation? If you're strong, pride is not a weakness, so I become proud, which helps me build up a military, which might be good for the situation I'm in. Or I can become humble, which is more science and gold. I think we're going to go with that. The court has opened debate on the topic of cultural enrichment, and we are of two minds on the matter. We can invest in epics, uh, 10 culture per military unit killed, or we can rely on exploration. No extra movement on water and stuff, okay. We can start epics immediately. We can start exploration immediately. We will not decide right now. The court will choose the laws. I think I kinda want Maybe the epics? No extra unit consumption when outside border. Scouts move on water. This does a lot for me right now, so we'll take that. And keep scouting about. And I've met the Danes. So these are like city-states. These are like neutral, third-party, little, little civilizations. I need to move my scout around. Uh, not my scalp, but my slinger around. Okay, that's all I can do this turn. Let's end it next turn. My wife has suddenly become foolish. Foolish is less science if she's a governor. I'm glad she's not a governor currently. I didn't get anything. I didn't get the, the culture to move here. I need some wood. So we might go here and clear down this forest. Use 
some of our uh, orders to stockpile this wood, which is needed to build other things. And I need to get some quarries down. So if we look here, we can see quarries work better when they're adjacent to mountains. So you get 40% when you're adjacent to each for each adjacent mountain. And you get more for uh, being adjacent to other quarries. But I don't have any good place for a quarry except for right here. So I'm going to start building some quarries here. And then maybe some mines here. Just to get this income of stone up. I want to be moving you... I want to be moving you around. There's a barbarian encampment over here I gotta worry about. Two years on my slinger. Uh, I'm out of orders. Ah, I'm out of orders, so I gotta... You know what? Scout. You go back. You don't need to move. But there, this... if. Killing the Danes is really tasty because that's a good city location up there. Let's go there and get you to sit and wait so I can save an order for next turn. In this year, Persia, my son is now old enough to be trained. A delegation from Egypt arrives with a marriage proposal for my daughter. Horomheb. He is charismatic. Builder. Tick. He is disciplined. They'll give us wood. They'll give us orders. He can be an ambassador. Lumber mills and pastures, better output. I want you. Princess Kashai would return from her philosophy studies, but she would like to retain a tutor for additional training. Do I keep stacking... Do I keep stacking science buffs on her, or do I want her to be also, like, charismatic? I'm gonna make her charismatic. Duke Marduk is, uh, showing signs of taking after his mother, which is bad, because my mother's a f his mother's a fool. Ah, uh, he's... He can become foolish, insane, or vigilant. Foolish, uh, is you lose science you become stronger lose money or vigilant is the best thing i could get here oh he's insane well he'll he'll make a good general uh someday what would you like to educate him you are gonna be a general you're insane so we're gonna have you go out and kill a couple of people let's build a quarry here to start getting our stone income back up. If we look at our court, we should have quite a few people within our court now. And I want to start spending time to influence these people. Because I want to assign a governor. I need to assign a governor over here. And they need to be from this Isin family. So I want to start influencing her. She are she does not like me at all. She doesn't hate me, but she doesn't like me. So I want to start getting that family to enjoy my company and keep moving in this general direction. Uh we saw the barbarians. Let's just fill out the map here. Good gym location. One more year on this slinger. You can't do anything, so go to sleep. You can't do anything, so skip a turn. 
Oh, he could have done something. I made a mistake there. She also has another plus one wisdom. She is the smartest girl in the world. Oh, a free settler. We take it. We take that free settler. We take that free settler. And we build ourselves a warrior. Yes. Take that free settler, build ourselves a warrior. He is working on influencing the lady. Wherever Duke Marduk goes, Gemetti follows. Marduk's influence is strong and draws comments about how he is the makings of a great leader. He gets one charisma. Uh, praise Marduk in front of the court. He becomes inspiring or proud. Ah, uh, he's proud. Okay. That's more negatives to his science, to my science, but it's positives to uh, his military score. So I am getting quite a bit of science basically from my daughter alone. <laughs> my daughter is carrying me through this science. I do need to get some more uh, civics from people, so I need some more charisma. And I do have plenty of money coming in from my daughter who is disciplined, but Duke Marduk is costing me 30 a turn, which sort of sucks, but I do have that court merchant, which is helping a lot. So the people in your uh, little court are very, very, very influential into how well your uh, your society is doing overall. It's very important to make sure you have people you want in your court and get rid of people you don't want. Uh, and we want people to like us and be happy with us as well so that they don't rebel. So we've influenced the head of the merchant families to like us. She is plus 40 with us. Uh, I do have a new baby boy, which is really good. Marduk takes to tactics training with an unbridled enthusiasm. Clearly the instructors are best. Uh, I kind of want to keep him learning. So he becomes tough, which makes him just a better general. And I reached a new culture level. Uh, I can build world wonders for my uh, city here in Babylon. So I should be able to build... Uh... Well, doesn't look like I can. I thought I could. I want my culture to spread around over into this tile over here so I can get that. But I think I need to put a specialist here in order to get that. That'll take a little bit of time. We're going to throw down another mine here because I want to speed up my warrior production and with this I think we're going to end the turn or end the episode here if you like this series and you want to see more old world please let me know down in the comments below I'm really enjoying this game I'm still learning how it works uh, I'm fairly okay at the beginning of the game but I struggle a little bit later on especially with warfare that takes a little bit to learn but if you like this episode, leave a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a dislike. As always, this has been STG Sheep, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.